Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name, Jesus. We thank you for this beautiful day, God. We thank you for the divine appointment. God Almighty, tonight is the last Thursday of the month of January, God. We have seen you carrying us. We have seen you keeping us safe. We have seen you fighting our battles. We have seen you, God, protecting us. We are ending the month of January, God. We thank you. Throughout the God and month of January, you were God building strong relationship with you, Father. Tonight, God, as we are gathered, we are gathered here. Your presence speak to us, heal us, protect us, and be our guide, our Father. We want to hear you and we want to experience you, Father. from God this year yes it's not clear it does it's not even promising I understand you applied and you were not accepted at school you were hoping for a bachelor's degree but you, you only got a certificate go back to school go back there is no rush try again when you fail you try again, it's not the end of the world. As long as you are still alive, as long as you are still breathing, there is hope for you. Why do you, why are you depressed? Why do you want to kill yourself? This life is not a competition. <laughs> we have all been given our own assignments. We have all been given our own assignments. This is your assignment. Go to school, go back to school. There is no hurry. For the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I know the plans I have for you. Thus says the Lord, I know the plans I have for you. And such plans are not to bring you disaster. And such plans are not to bring you shame. Such plans are not to bring you down, but the plans I have for you are to prosper you. We fail in so many ways. Maybe you 
it's not about the bachelor, it's not about grade 12. You failed in the interview, you just got a regret. So many regrets. Your emails are full of regrets. To your point that you, you are wondering, does God hear me? Does he hear me when I pray? Does he really hear me? Don't give up. Don't give up. As long as you are still breathing, there is hope for you. As long as you are alive, there is hope for you. Try again. My message to you tonight. Try again. Apply again. You were pregnant, so many pregnancies, but you continue to have miscarriages. And you are like, but God, why should I go through so much pain? What have I done? God, my in-laws, they are now talking that something is probably wrong with me. The community is laughing at me because it just seemed like Nothing is going with me. People got married after me, but they've been given the gift of children. They've been given, but my, my children, they are just dying before I could even hold them. Where are you, God? Try again. He is here. Try again. that is frustrating you, that you feel like enough is enough. I am not, I am not doing anything anymore. I've done so much. I've tried. I've tried. Got married. It didn't work. Just kept getting hurt. Just kept getting abused. You just kept not being appreciated. And you are wondering, where is God? But God said, this is the one. Why am I experiencing this? Why? And you want to throw in the towel? Don't give up. Don't give up. It is not over until God says it's over. It is not over until my father says it's over. The, 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 what is being whispered in your ears that is negative that says you are nothing you are worthless you are undeserving God does not love you if he did why would you go through this if he did why is he not doing this if he loved you why is he not providing you with this those are from the devil God loves you my brother, my sister, my mother, he is mindful of you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, just for me and you, that we can have a free life. I want us to pray tonight. I want to dedicate this session to prayer. This year, Let's name it, it's a year of push. Push, what does push mean? What does push mean? Pray until something happens. Push means a run, push up. Push up. Nga vumele satana abu shabela, shako ashkona. Push to your success. Push to your breakthrough. Push to your blessings. Push, pray. How do you push? Through prayer. Pray until something happens. Push, pray until something happens. When you read in the book of First Thessalonians 5, verse 17. First Thessalonians 5 verse 17.
Pray when things are going your way and pray when things are not going your way. At all times, pray. That is the gift of salvation. When you are saved, you draw your strength from God, from prayer. I want to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray tonight. I'm, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for everyone who's watching. I'm just going to pray as the Spirit leads. And I'm going to ask God to meet you at your deepest need in 2024. I'm going to ask God to bless you. Because it is His will for us to rejoice at all times. So wherever you are, join me. Let's pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray. Let's pray the God your way. To, we're going to take this few minutes right now. Wherever you are, 